So this is now called, if you'll see in the bulletin, it's called children's time. Because we often don't tell a children's story. Sometimes we come up here and we talk to you about things. I have brought my dog here before. Does anybody remember me bringing my dog? Yeah. Does anybody remember when I brought my turtle and my bunny and we had the rabbit and the hare story? Oh, I'll have to bring them again sometime. But today I'm actually going to tell you a story. So what is children's story today? I'm going to tell you a story that I read to my grandson while I was just visiting him on vacation. So I read a little book, and it's about a girl named Katie. And Katie liked to explore. Do you like to explore? She liked to take her time and look under the bushes and see the kind of bugs that she would find under the shrubs. And she liked to peek inside of the flowers and to see what was growing in the middle of a flower. She just liked the little things in life. And so she was exploring one day, and when she came back home, she noticed that there was something with her. And it was a worry. And in the picture book, when they drew the picture of a worry, it looked like a scribble. Have you ever scribbled like this? And you kind of just go in circles and there's lines sticking out. Yeah, just a little scribble. And it was with her when she was at dinner, and it was with her when she was brushing her teeth. And the next morning, she noticed that it was with her while she was at school. But other people couldn't see it. And she thought it was really weird because her teacher couldn't see it, and her teacher is very perceptive. And as time went on, each day, this little worry that looked like a yellow scribble just kind of got bigger and bigger. And she didn't change any of her routine. She was still exploring and having fun when she had time, and she was still a good student, and she still brushed her teeth. And this worry was growing. Everywhere she went, this worry was getting bigger and bigger. One day, she was able to measure that it was a half of the size of a school bus. When she rode on the bus, the worry took up the whole back half of the bus. And it affected her. It made her sad. She didn't have as much fun when she was with her friends. She had trouble falling asleep. And she did not know what to do. Until one day, she saw a boy on a playground sitting on a bench with a familiar look on his face. It was the look of sadness. And she was able to perceive that next to him was a small blue worry. It was a scribble with lines sticking out, but his was blue and hers was yellow. And she went over and she talked to him. And she said, how are you today? And he shared that he was a little bit sad. And she said, I feel sad sometimes, too. Do you want to talk about it? And as he talked about his worry, it started to shrink. It got smaller and smaller as they talked. And she noticed the look on his face changed. And he wasn't sad anymore. And he actually wanted to get up and play. Before she got there, he didn't even feel like playing. So she thought she would give it a try. And she started talking about her worry, which was almost as big as a bench at this point. And she could feel that it was shrinking. As she shared with her new friend, her worry got smaller and smaller. Eventually, it was so tiny she hardly knew it was there. She says that worries still follow her today. She finds them now and then. But now she knows what to do about it. She talks about it and shares it with people that she cares for. Now that was a very nice story that I read to my grandson. And I appreciated the artwork with the scribbles and the lines sticking out. And the way a worry can be very small. And then it can be so big that it seems to just consume all of your thoughts. But the Bible gave us advice on that before this book was ever written.
in Philippians 4, verse 6, the Bible says, Don't worry about anything, but in everything give prayer and supplication. The Bible knew before this little book was ever written that if you talk to Jesus about your worries and your concerns, they won't get so big that they keep you up at night. And if you're finding that your worries are too big, be sure to share with somebody that you love. Okay? You can go back to your seats. Thank you.